What's in the bag? What's up, guys? We got another What's in the Bag episode. Uh, sorry, guys. Jonah won't be uh, in this episode. He hasn't been uh, behaving well in school. So, uh, as his dad, I decided that he won't be uh, participating in this week's episode of What's in the Bag. Um, this week, we got some pretty cool stuff um, at Walmart. And I picked something up at... Um, I picked some stuff up at on eBay, and um, I found some cool stuff on Craigslist. Great site for uh, for uh, cheap stuff. All right, so let's start with uh, what we got at Walmart. Um, first off, here's some stuff that uh, you guys have seen already. Uh, these are showing up in Walmart now. We got the Alpha Romeo Julia Sprint GTA, and we got a couple of these. We got one, two, three, and we picked up four of them. Um, these are kind of uh, priced really high at uh, at Walmart for some reason. These and the Gran Turismo are showing up at SoCal Walmart's for uh, five forty seven. So uh, when you walk out the door with them, you're already paying six dollars with tax, uh, which is kind of high. Uh, I know that there's some uh, places that are selling these for five dollars. So. Um, Go find those. Save a couple of cents here and there, a dollar, some places if you can. But I, uh, I like the casting, so I picked up, I picked them up at um, Walmart. What else did I get? These were showing up too. You've seen these already. This is the Porsche 964, the Urban Outlaw um, tempo on there. And we got a couple of these too. Um, the five, the dots and five tens were all gone already by the time I got to the store. Actually, I found the boxes, the track day boxes on sh on the shelf. These weren't even on the pegs. Um, so, but somebody had already took them off the pallet and just. Uh, Left, took the dots and five tens and left the boxes on the shelves. So uh, I decided to pick up these 964s. Uh, these aren't priced too bad at our Walmarts. They're 347 I believe. So not too bad for a casting you like. And you guys have seen these before. We picked up a couple of these. This is the Lamborghini Huracan LP 622 Super Trofeo. I got another Honda Monkey Z50 in the yellow. And another Lamborghini Super Trofeo. So I got two of those. Very cool. I don't know if I've shown you guys the back of these. Here's the back. For you international card holders who don't have the... US cards and here's the back of the Lamborghini alright so that's the Hot Wheels we picked up at Walmart and in this bag we got some other cool stuff at a different Walmart we picked up a bunch of matchboxes here we go we got the BMW R1200 S, uh, GS, and this is in like a military olive drab um, green. So we got the MP Police motorcycle. All right, and here is the Ford Explorer in the blue, and you got CSI on there. Here is the Meter Maid, the Matchbox uh, MBX Metro Police version of the Meter Maid. Here is the Ford Bronco, 
As you can see it's got this is the fifteenth car in the MBX Ambassador series. I don't know which ambassador this is for, but this is for one of the Matchbox Ambassadors. <clears throat> Here we got the Batwing from Batman vs. Superman. And well, there's still a couple more. And we got another Infinity G37 Coupe. I believe I opened this in a previous episode. And two more. And that's it for the bags. We finally, I finally found the BMW 1M in the gold. And uh, Alfa Romeo 4C. And we still haven't found the Nissan Skyline on the pegs yet. So those were our what's in the bag at Walmart pickups. And wait for that. I'll show you guys that later. Here is something we got at eBay. This is the Fast and Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious by Racing Champions, Ertl. The 1993 Mazda RX-7. So this is Orange Julius's RX-7. And it's sealed. This was on eBay. Um, so we got a... I found this for a pretty good price. It also came with another car. Um, and hopefully Hot Wheels will be introducing the RX-7 in their line really soon. And uh, hopefully they'll uh, be releasing a couple of those uh, Fast and Furious RX-7s. Because there have been a couple in the Fast and Furious movies. So this is the 1993 Mazda RX-7 from Too Fast, Too Furious. And it came with this Mazda RX-7 by Maisto. Excess tuners and it's a black RX-7. And I guess you could uh, snap some body, different body parts on it to make it like that with these things. But a crazy spoiler, spoiler, because uh, some people get mad at me when I call these wings, which they are, they are wings. And I will continue using wings, saying wings. So this is the RX-7. And one more thing from eBay. Got this in the mail too. This is uh, the Sil 80 from Initial D, as you can see. It's got the Initial D plate on the back. Got this for a really good price for for the price of Jada Toys on um, uh, Initial D Jada Toys on eBay. We got this for a pretty good price. And, um, I mean, it is open, but I was going to open it anyways, even if I bought a uh, mint on-card uh, car. So, I get lucky when I find these loose ones. So, this is by Jada Toys. This was uh, from a while back, I believe 2004-ish. Way back. So, this is the Jada Toys Sil 80 from Initial D. So that's it for the eBay stuff, and what we got here is one of the things we picked up on Craigslist. So we found some Tomika stuff. The cars were not included. Those are um, part of our old collection, but we got some nice Tomika play sets. We got seven of them actually. Check this out, guys. We got all this stuff on Craigslist. So we got seven different sets. Uh, we paid. Uh, we talk, The asking price was a hundred dollars, and we talked them down a little bit because some parts were broken, and uh, some sets even uh, had some missing pieces. But uh, we have a couple of those sets, and the sets that we did want were complete. 
So I was pretty happy with this purchase on Craigslist. Um, so you can see we got the toll booth over here. We got this crazy uh, tower circuit, which we don't have yet. And uh, we have this one. We have the Buen circuit, the racetrack. So these two I wanted, I really wanted, so we could... For, for the tower circuit, we could hook it up to the racetrack and make this cool cir uh, circuit. Um, what else did we get? We already have one of these highways right here. We got like four of these now. Been picking them up on eBay. Um, that was complete. It was uh, okay condition. We got a tower mountain road. We have that already. Okay condition. This uh, mega change Parking we don't have, but pretty cool find. Uh, I've never seen it before. That's complete. Um, parts missing, but most for most part it's completely working, and um, not too much there. And we got whatever this uh, tower parking garage. Um, lots of broken pieces. Pretty cool, but huge box, lots of broken pieces, um, and I don't think it's functioning properly. So that's that. All that we talked them down to seventy bucks, which I think was okay, because uh, this toll station is uh, not cheap, and if you could find it on eBay ever, um, if it's ever used. That's not that cheap. Uh, probably be over a hundred dollars plus another forty, fifty dollars just for shipping. So uh, I think uh, we made out with a good deal for seventy bucks for all this Tomika stuff. Um, we put um, all this together, like I said, and uh, some are in good condition, some are in horrible condition. So that toll booth and. Check this out. We got this already set up. This is for future videos. We got the tower. I think I might have to work with some of these spinners because they're not pushing up the cars right. They, uh, a lot gets stuck here. I don't know if it's just a bad design and that affects a lot of people, but. It's this. Maybe I need fresh batteries. D batteries. I'm going to have to stock up on D's and C's for, for these sets. Um, but this is pretty cool. So we've already had this racing track. The circuit. And now we added this part. And hopefully all of this works well. Um, I haven't gotten to get batteries yet. Fresh batteries. This had already had batteries, but... Um, as you can see, but it gets stuck there, so I might have to open this up, I don't know. Alright, so those were our pickups for this week. I don't think you guys really saw this one. Um, this one, we already have this, I've used it in a few videos before, and like I said, we have four or five of them now. I'm not sure, I've been picking a couple up on... Craigslist. I picked one up in the Philippines when I visited there uh, a couple of years back, and we already have this mountain mountain track. Um, you guys have seen this in a couple other videos I've done. If you've uh, watched any of those Fast and Furious or our initial D unboxing of the Tomika initial Ds, here's a closer look at the Mega Change parking lot. Just don't have space to put all this stuff right now, and this is the broken one. A lot of the plastic on on this was uh, broken because it's thin plastic. Um, the people I bought it from tried to glue parts of it, but it's still brittle. So this was cool stuff. And this one had a lot of um, broken plastic pieces, but for some reason the glue that the people put was is pretty strong, and um, the the track works and. Uh, Things are working well on this. So let's go ahead and open up some of this stuff we picked up this week. 
so let's crack some stuff open. I won't be opening up any of the Forza's um, Alfa Romeos. You guys have seen those already. And I won't be opening up any of these track day Porsches. So let's put those away. What else? You've seen these already. Don't even have to crack any more of these open. And uh, that's about it. Let's crack everything else open. Here's another look at the Nissan 180s uh, SX, the SIL 80 from Initial D. They put some glue here. It's kind of sticky. I don't know if this is uh, originally done by uh, by uh, Jada Toys, but whoever I bought this from stuck those uh, rubber wheels on here. So let's get ahead and uh, crack stuff open. Uh, let's. I think we've. I just opened this in a previous episode too. This is the Infinity G37 Coupe. So we won't open that. Not sure if we open the Alfa Romeo 4C in white, and I'll just go ahead and open this. Here's the Alfa Romeo 4C. Can't wait for the Matchbox Classic Alfa Romeos to come out pretty soon. To go against the Hot Wheels Alfa Romeo. So there's the Alfa Romeo 4C. And uh, here is the BMW 1M. Been looking hard for this one too. Almost as hard as I've been looking for the Nissan Skyline. So here it is in gold. And they turned it back into 1M, not M1. So there you go. Nice color. We got uh, how many of these now in different colors? There's a uh, orange, blue, red, the black, OTW one, and now there's the gold. And there have been a couple um, specially made cars for different shows, which we have I haven't picked up. So here's the gold version. There we go. Let's open up the meter made. Here's the MBX Metro Police meter made vehicle. Three wheels. Alrighty. Moving on, we got the BMW 1200, R1200GS in the olive drab green. This is a big motorcycle. It's pretty heavy. There's a lot of die cast on this one. Look at that front. There you go, MB Police. And here is the Ford Bronco 4x4 in uh, this, uh, I guess, neon metallic green. This is uh, MBX Ambassador Cars. This is a cool casting. I wish this was all metal. I mean, all right. Here's the Ford Bronco 4x4 by Matchbox, and here is another Ford Explorer to the set. Another car we're gonna add to the our police box of cars police police case you can see it's got the it's a CSI right there which is pretty cool this ain't just a regular 
police cruiser. It's it's a CSI cruiser. The investigators. All right, so those are our regular Matchbox toys that we are going to unbox. Here is the Matchbox Batwing from Batman vs. Superman. The other planes that come in the Sky Skybusters sets. This is about $3. Three, about the same price as a... Uh, as a monster jam truck. So it's got wheels. Does this fold down? I don't think so. Alright, it's plasticky. These this is plastic and but this is die cast. The center of the plane is die cast. And this is the bat wing. Alrighty, let's open up this. This I'm curious about. Excess tuners by Maisco. Does this, does this stuff? Does this just? Does this stuff just snap on? No. Here we got the regular, uh, regular RX-7. Really light. This is like plastic. This is might be metal, but I'm not sure. But. Let's see how this stuff goes on. You take this, uh... Yeah, it's plastic. You take out the sides. Oh, well. I'll mess with this later. Come back to that. But, let's go ahead and open this. Something I've been wanting for a long a while now, and, uh, got it. Um, Suki's, uh... Honda S2000 did come out recently by Hot Wheels. And this is something cool to add to the collection of Racing Champion cars. Um, I don't know if Racing Champions released a Honda S2000 or a Nissan Skyline uh, R34 in the silver. But uh, they did release this. You can see it doesn't have a wing, which is like the movie. Dom's in the first movie had a wing, I believe. And this is pretty cool. I got this and the RX, the other RX-7 for, uh, I believe, $12 plus shipping, plus $3 shipping, which isn't bad for uh, these racing champions. They're not cheap. So, there we go. The 1993 Mazda RX-7 Orange Julius's. Can we see that? There, let me focus there. It says Orange Julius there. Just saying Orange Julius making me thirsty. Maybe I'll have to go to the mall and pick up a nice Orange Julius. It's been hot here in Southern California. Mm. Early November, it's still hitting 90 degrees. Maybe that's why Jonah's not behaving well in school. He's not comfortable with the heat. But he's got a couple of warnings lately, so um, it's not good. He needs a, a lesson, so that's why he's not on this week's uh, What's in the Bag. Alrighty, so that's our pickups for this week's What's in the Bag. You guys want to see this? I don't know if um, this table is really level enough to play. Let's turn it on.
Alrighty, let's go back to this, the Mazda RX-7. Let's see what this is all about. Let's see. Here's the back. I get, oh, you do pull it off. Just that, that stuff is like really delicate feeling. Feels like it's gonna crack if I break it, or if I pull it off, so. So you pull, here's the bumper. There's one, I guess you, once you pull that off there in order. So pull all the bumpers off. There we go. And now you're stuck with just this. So you could tune it up. Let's see which body, what side panel goes on first. So the other side supposed is labeled number one. All right, so I'll snap this on. Whoa. Let's see. Doesn't want to go in. Ay, 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 This is from two thousand two, so I wonder if this person bought all this stuff in the swap meet and it's been sitting out in the sun I don't know I see if this side goes on easily not so easy on this thing you gotta kinda force it in which I'm scared to do because it's plastic so there I go. I'm gonna break it. Oh well, whatever. I wanted the Fast and Furious one anyways. If it break, if I break this, it's not no big deal. No big deal to me. It might be to you if this is what you collect, but okay, whatever. Force it in. Just jab it in. Kind of loose. Probably this. See, this one doesn't want to go in. Oh well. There we go. You can see it's still not in here. Oh well. Here's the wing. Blah 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 blah. Get that exhaust on. Oh my gosh! It doesn't want to stay. I'm gonna have to like push this hard in. All right, my still. I wonder. That's just no wonder you took this off the market. Am I not doing something right? Go in. All right, whatever. It's pissing me off. Just kind of keep it together once everything is snapped on. All right, this wasn't that fun of a toy. Woohoo! Now you got all this Mazda junk. Hi. Oh well, there you go. Something cool and fun to mess with. Now it doesn't want to come off. Maybe we'll keep this wing. Definitely take these sides off. Maybe we'll keep that front. Let's see. These sides. Let's see if this is easier to do. There we go. There. 
stock easy fits like a real car you don't have to cut anything there we go maybe we'll keep this exhaust which is the difference between these two is there a difference little bit hmm which one I think I'll go with the stock one oh wait I forgot the wing with the big wing. Here we go. Will it fit? Does it want to fit? Alright, this is a piece of junk toy. I guess you have to use the regular. Oh well. This isn't the RX-7 I was looking for anyways. It came with the other one. Uh, yeah, the modded stuff doesn't fit with the stock stuff. You have to use the stock. So this wing will definitely not work. Should be interchangeable, which would be cool. If you could mix and match, but well, this one's not on. Oh, there you go. Piece of junk toy. Another piece of junk maestro toy. This will probably be, end up in the donation box. I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so that's the excess tuner by Maestro RX-7. The damage for this week's What's in the Bag episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Check out our other videos. And... Uh, Hopefully I could run out soon and pick up some big D batteries for this. Gotta hit up Costco. Cheapest uh, D batteries. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Don't forget guys, this Saturday is K-Day, so uh, if you guys need some boxes for your collection, hit up K-Day, you get some nice uh, handy uh, free cardboard boxes for your growing collection of uh, in, box, in uh, package Hot Wheels. Um, not sure what's inside the K-Days, except for the... KD uh, specials and the uh, mail in so uh, check up the the Hot Wheels uh, collectors page for that stuff and uh, go check out your KDs and I'm not even sure if I'm going to allow Jonah to participate in KD either so that's this week's what's in the bag